Hello there my friends, hope you all are having a fantastic day right now. In this video, we shall be building a basic alarm system in Python. So let's get started. So before we start building, let us first look at how the system will work so that we get an idea of what it is. So this alarm system senses a notification every 5 seconds after we have started using an application and after a specified amount of time, it shuts down the application by itself. But sending a notification every 5 seconds is not practical and you would want the time interval to be more. But in this video, since we want to get the results quicker, we will be using 5 seconds as the time interval. So let's see how it works. So now it is running and it will check if we are using the Google Chrome browser and yep you see this message right here you have been browsing for long and another one too long going to end process in 10 seconds and gone so that's it and this is how it works and it can really help us in cutting down on the time that we spend on the internet so let's go ahead and start building this in order to check the processes which are running on the computer we will be using a python module called psutil and if you don't have this module installed then you can any day install it using pip so i'm going to import this module first and i'll also be importing time and we'll see that later so first we need to check for the processes that are running and in this case we want to check only for the chrome browser so Yep, we would need a list of the processes that are running. So, to do that, let's create a simple function called check processes. And let's pass the name of the process as an argument. And this name is a string. So, let's just call that parameter as process name. So, psutil has a function called proc iter which is an iterable containing all the processes that are running on your computer so we would need to loop through this and check if the required process is running so we would need a for loop for that so for proc in proc iter if process name that is this parameter in proc dot name so what proc dot name does is that it returns the string value of the process that is running so if chrome is running then it returns the string chrome dot exe and that would be our process name as well so if they both are equal then we need to return true that is the process is running and by default this function should return false which means after iterating through all the processes, if we find that the required process is not running, then it means that the process is not running. So this should return false. And there is a small change that we would have to do here. And that is to use the try and accept block. And this is because PSUtil tends to throw exceptions which are not that important. And we need to handle these exceptions in a graceful way. So we need to use try and accept. So we will try doing this and if there is an exception we need to handle it so there are three common exceptions that psutil throws and they are no such process and access denied is an exception and a not so common one is zombie process but we will include that anyway so we have these three exceptions and in order to handle them let's just put in pass over here so that the red stuff doesn't appear on the output window so that's that that is the check processes function and now we can go to the next part of the program so since we want the program to keep looking for processes continuously we would want it to be a live program so for that we will need to use a while loop which is an infinite loop so inside this while loop we will first 
call the function that we just wrote that is check processes and we are going to pass the string chrome.exe as an argument because that is the official name of the chrome process so once this returns true then we need to start displaying the messages at regular intervals and these messages are sent using the command line command called msg and using this command we can send messages to any computer on the network and this command can be executed from python by using the os module from python so we need to also import os so if the check processes function returns true then we would want to send the message so os dot system the syntax is as follows it's a string and cmd followed by forward slash c and then the command within double quotes so the command for my computer will be and the message so the first message will be something like you have been using chrome for long something like that and make sure that you change this to the name of your computer because that is the syntax and my computer is called Winton and that is the name and yep this should appear as soon as you start chrome but we don't want that we want it to get triggered after a certain interval of time and for that we need to define time so let's have a variable here called time interval and let's set it to 1 so we want this notification to get triggered after the first time interval is over so we will write an if statement here to achieve that so if time interval is one then you execute this command and after this has been triggered then that would signify the beginning of the second time interval so we would need to increment time interval by one and we can copy this and paste it how many other times you want depending on how many warnings you want from this alarm so i want only two warnings and then end the process after that so i'll just copy this once so else if time interval equals two and you can change the message if you want something like ending process in five seconds something like that and yep again we would want to increment time interval by one and lastly we have else that is if the time interval is not one and if it is not two then we will just end the process and in order to do that we will be using another command line command called task kill so os dot system task kill slash f slash i am chrome dot exe so that is the syntax and this is the name of the process that we are going to end and we also need to end the python program that is running so we need to write sys dot exit to exit from the python program and since we are using sys we would want to import it so import sys so now this is good enough but what this will do is it will execute these statements as soon as chrome has been started and the application would be closed in no time so that's not what we want we want them to do so after some amount of time has elapsed so this is where the time module comes into picture so there is a function in the time module called sleep and sleep delays the execution of the program by the number of seconds that you pass into it so if you say time dot sleep and five then after the execution of this statement there is a five second gap and after the five second gap this statement gets executed so that's what time dot sleep does and practically you would want this number to be a higher number like if you want half an hour gaps then you would want this number to be 1800 or something like that so let me check if there are no mistakes and then let's run it so 
okay so this is not proc iter but process iter and you would also have to access it from ps util so make sure that you change that and so all of this is correct and okay so there is no else if in python it's just called elif and yep i guess that's it let's run this so it's running and and we get this you have been using chrome for long so the second message and gone so that's it so this is a really strict alarm that does not care about what you are doing it just ends the process after the time has passed so that's one strict alarm so that's it i hope this video was useful to you guys and bye for now guys and i'll see you guys in the next video